Hi friends, Trailblades Tim here. Today we are down here in the Sebastian River region of Indian River County at our old favorite campground, Donald McDonald. We're here for two nights car camping. Can't wait to see what kind of stuff we can get into. Now we are at a public campground and in the course of the video, you will hear other people in the background because there is probably about 20 different camps and being Thanksgiving weekend, all the sites are booked. Now it is three o'clock in the afternoon. It's gonna get dark by 5.30, so we need to get set up and get ready to get a fire going as soon as possible. So tonight we are sporting the Academy Compass four-man tent uh, and we're set up and ready to go. So here in about an hour, we'll get a fire started. Now before I left home about an hour north of here, I couldn't find any kind of firewood. We're out here at a county owned campground. We're not allowed to take any wood down in the forest. So I got here to camp and I ran into my old buddy, Ranger Dan. Thank you, Ranger Dan. He guided me to a place a couple miles up the road where they are absolutely stocked. Now we're saved and we can have a fire. Now, if any of you guys have followed me for any time, you'll remember that I was at this campsite about a year or so ago and did an overnight <clears throat> while well, I was down over at the one across the street. That's when I had the noisy neighbors that, believe it or not, were at, I'm at tonight, where they backed over that artesian well and broke it and flooded my camp out and stuff. So this time, there's another campsite next to me. A lot of young bucks in there, they're making a lot of noise. We're gonna see how this goes for tonight. Well now with the evening settling in and we got a nice fire established and everything, really loud neighbors, we'll talk about that later. It's time for a nice cold adult beverage. <laughs> yeah. Now this is the third time I've camped out down here and um, same thing, you know, it's a busy weekend though, this is Thanksgiving weekend and it's loud, there's people in every single campsite. I'm all right with that, but when you're out camping, you know what? Don't be putting your phone on and playing a football game or blasting your radio as loud as you can, especially when your camp's right next to somebody else. Camping is supposed to be about fun and everything, but if you're going to do all that stuff, do it while you're at home, not out here disturbing the peace. Back to that whole subject on this is a noisy campground. This is the third time out here and it's the same results. I'm going to go back over and sit by the fire and I'm going to set up the camera and I want you to listen to exactly what I have to hear all night. I tried to get him to the bridge. He's, he's got a cat going there. He's got both of them. Nah. Nah. Yeah. Now they're over there drinking pretty hard and there's probably about a half a dozen of them over there. Uh, younger guys and gals and stuff and they're having fun. It's the weekend and stuff. But I'm going to tell you what, after dark when it's time to settle down, if they ain't drunk or passed out, I'm going to do something about it. My buddy Ranger Dan is here on property and if I have to make a call, I will. The evening's settling in quickly and you know what time that means. Time to button up, get ready for some real darkness. Now don't you forget, we got a great meal that we're gonna be cooking up tonight. <laughs> 
it's amazing how much you can learn an entire person's life story by camping out next to them in an evening. <laughs> Seems like a great time to mix up some grub. <laughs> In with the andouille. Well, our guests next door haven't given up at all and it's going on 10 p.m. You saw the andouille sausage that I'm making up and I threw some beans in there. Unfortunately, I had a half a cup of instant rice that I was going to use as a bed on that and unfortunately, it didn't make the trip. So the sausage and the beans actually came out really good, but I don't have a bed to lay them down on. Uh, I got potatoes, but those are for tomorrow's meal and the rice that I set aside to bring with me to cook I forgot at home. So we need to improvise to try and make this meal a little bit better. So I guess we're going to make this car camping meal into nachos. <laughs> Camp time nachos. <laughs> in the least likely way possible. Forgot my bed, my starch, you know, the, the rice, the potato and all that stuff. So we had to make andouille sausage with some baked beans. I can see my breath. <laughs> you know, and beans and all that stuff and added the cheddar cheese and the, the Texas peat and the pepper and the, uh, all that other good stuff, the tea shells. Uh, we are living it up here and it's time to tear this baby up. Oh yes, please. Good, good food. Mm. <laughs> really good stuff. Mm. Easy to eat. Got that full sausage in there. And the beans on beans. What's better than beans than more beans? <laughs> mm. Mm. What an elegant mistake. <laughs> All worked out, baby. <laughs> All worked out. All right, so we're kind of like settling in to our big old tent. You ain't seen me sleep in this thing probably about a year or two. This is my Academy Compass four-man tent, and I feel like I'm in a Hilton compared to all the videos you see me doing with the tarp shelters and my one man Renai and all that other good stuff. But I want to be comfortable because I'm here for 48 hours. Man, I have tried to get to sleep. It's midnight. These guys next door just won't give up. They're over there with their women like a five-year-old that's over there as well and they've just been nothing but loud 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 and I just want to get some rest morning all about seven o'clock in the morning Nice, cool 64 degrees. Time for some coffee. Looks like the sun's coming up. And everyone else, too. I had my trash laying on the ground last night and a critter must have got into it. <laughs> That's what you get for sleeping outside. Well, hey, we are out of here. I'm not spending another second night here. I had reservations and stuff, but like you've heard me harp on it, 
you know, when you're at a campground, I understand people want to hang out and party and stuff, but there's a time for everything to cool off and to quiet down and have a little bit of respect for your neighbors. Well, that didn't happen. This turned into being a tailgating party that I wasn't invited to and pretty much got thrown into. I still had a good time and stuff, but it's going to be quite a while before I come back out here. And the only good time you can come out is an off season when it's hot and rainy and stuff. You know, nobody's going to be out here. So we're hauling ass back to the RV. Hey, that's all the time we got for this one. Thanks so much for hanging out and watching the nonsense. Leave me a comment down below and let me know about some of your experiences maybe you had when you were at a campground. Was it peaceful or was it like a big tailgate party and nobody got any sleep? I'm an avid believer that if you're going out camping, it doesn't matter if it's campground or whatever, you should actually have some time to sit and be able to enjoy the sounds of nature. In this case, we had absolutely none. And this is a case every time I come out to this campground. I love it. It's a great area and stuff. But just like anything good, people ruin it. Thanks so much. I'll see you on the next adventure. Take care.